Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get up and running with your own instance of Copilot. Now you can access Copilot through our GitHub repository, which I'll link down in the description below. A prerequisite prior to following the rest of this video is to go ahead and install Docker and Docker Compose. We have linked the, their documentation within the readme. Uh, it's super easy to install. I'm not gonna cover it uh, within this video because I'm pretty sure I've covered it in previous videos and there's a ton of other walkthroughs out there. So I'm not gonna cover that within this video. So here I am on my host machine where I want to go ahead and install Copilot. And another important uh, requirement is that Copilot needs to be within the same network as your SeamStack tool. So as your Wazoo indexer, your Wazoo manager, or if not in the same network, at least have appropriate firewall rules applied to allow Copilot to connect to the various tools. Because that's really where Copilot's power comes from, is manipulating these tools through their APIs. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, within my op directory here, I'm going to run a git clone and grab the Copilot repository. I guess git is also another prerequisite as well, which can be easily installed. I'm gonna go ahead and CD into the Copilot directory, and then I am going to copy the .env file example to just a regular .env. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this .env file. And here is where we can set our initial variables for our application. So here we have our server IP and then our API URL. So for these, you'll see placeholders for your underscore server IP. So I'm gonna go ahead and run an if config to get the IP address of the VM that will be running Copilot. Go ahead and open this file back up and replace these options here. Now, scrolling down, you'll also see that we have variables to set up our connector credentials. Now, these are the API keys that Copilot will use when connecting to the Wazoo Indexer, the Wazoo Manager, Graylog, Shuffle, so on and so forth. Um, now, these are just set as dummy placeholders. Um, they do not need to be set up prior to your first run of Copilot. You'll be able to configure them within the web UI itself, but if you want to get ahead of the curve and go ahead and configure them within the .env file so everything is up and running when you first start Copilot, you have the ability to do so. So I'm not gonna make any changes there. I'll have a future video where we go into configuring the connector credentials. So those are the only changes I need to make. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is run a docker compose up dash D to go ahead and start the application in the background. So here, uh, Docker is first downloading our container, which holds the Copilot application itself. Cool, so now once our uh, container has been pulled down and has started to run, I'll go ahead and clear this out and do a docker PS. Now. We will need to grab the admin credentials that are created the first time Copilot is ran. The, these admin credentials are only created one time, so this will be your opportunity to go ahead and capture those admin credentials and save them in a safe space. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a Docker logs and then paste in the container ID, which you can get by just running a Docker PS. Uh, I'll say dash dash follow. And here we'll see uh, a log entry here called admin user password. And then what we're interested in is grabbing this plain value. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open a notepad up and paste that value in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the web UI. Now to access the web UI, I'm going to access it via this server's IP address. And I'm gonna open up a browser here as well. And I'm gonna paste in my IP address. I'm going to HTTP. And then the port that I'm going to use uh, by default is 5173. Now, uh, <laughs> two warnings here. You know, this, this is still just in the beta phase. I know we don't have HTTPS enabled by default. That'll come prior to the first release. And then also you don't have the ability to change uh, the listening port to like 443, for example, which again will change uh, prior to our first release. So because this is the case, do not, do not, do not expose uh, Copilot to the public world. Uh, this tool is meant for internal use only. So a fair warning there. Now I'll get directed here to my login page. So here I'm going to do the username of admin, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in 
the detail, uh, the password that I copied from the uh, container log. So I'm going to go ahead and select sign in and you'll see we get directed to the overview page, but we had a, a ton of errors here. And that is again, because we haven't configured our connectors appropriately. So if I go into connectors here, for example, you'll see all the connectors that we currently support within Copilot. We have uh, both Wazoo, the indexer and the manager, Greylog, Shuffle, Iris, Velociraptor, uh, so on and so forth. And you'll also see that none of these guys are verified. And if I select update, you'll see that the values that they actually have are the placeholders that we have in our .env file uh, prior to running the app. So again, I'm not going to go into configuring connectors in this, in this video. That'll be a topic for the next one. Um, you can also, if I log out here, I can also sign up a new user as well. Do uh, tell it all well and I sock fortress.co. I'll go ahead and set my password to please subscribe. Uh, select next. I'll input my username. This will be the username I'll use for the application. So I'll just do Taylor. Uh, looks like I missed in my password. And there we go. So our user has been registered. Now I can go ahead and sign in with the username and then the password that I just created. And now my user is added to Copilot. And if we open our users, you'll see we have our admin user. We have our scheduler user, which more to come on that in uh, future videos. This guy is a user that's built into Copilot itself, so you, you don't need to be doing anything here. And then we have the Taylor user that we just created. So that'll be it for this video. Again, these are the steps you can follow to quickly get up and running with Copilot within your own environment. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to reach out to us on GitHub or Discord, which will also be linked below. And I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one.